inspiration for making cigars. I mean, certainly there's enough cigars in the world. And there was no shortage of cigars to smoke. Maybe just what, too much. What yeah. was the driving force behind you making your own cigar? Well, I think that's... Uh, uh, I really think that someone who makes a cigar has to, to love people, love to meet people. According to me, there is no sense to be involved in the making of the cigar if you don't have interest for people. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I, I think about that anytime I meet someone, for example, or anytime I'm thinking to people smoking because they are always together, they are sharing. Right, exactly. We share a conversation, we share a cigar, we could share a good drink, but anyway, the, the thing is, the center is, is the meeting. Right, it's the experience. Yes, yeah. experiences yeah. With, with others. And so, so your most recent line of cigars, the HVA, tell us a, a little bit, you know, how, how that came about and, and why you, you're so uh, excited about that particular blend. Okay. Well, I'm excited because maybe of the, the, the story of Cuba, sure, and, uh, but uh, the, um, what people think about Cuba, sure, the embargo of the US is making something that's psychological, right? They want more and they cannot have it. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, there is, there is something special with that city in Cuba. And so the fact that Leonardo Reyes was traveling and came back with some Cuban seeds from Pinal del Rio, Oriental uh, zone of Cuba. Uh, he made uh, some uh, little four inches uh, green tobacco plant with it to put them in, in our soil there. But I mean, the, the, the reason um, came after that. When I saw the first time in the curing barns, the leaves coming from these seeds was so different. The texture was so so different, like like a skin, like oily, like this. Uh, color was was different too. And um, and talking with Leonardo, he explained me that that was one of the first leaves you could imagine to work the three component of a cigar with it. Could work a wrapper. Could use a binder and the filler with the same plant by using only a different level on your tobacco plant. Yeah. By taking, for example, your filler from the top of the plant, your wrapper because of the the nerve, you are more, you know, smooth in the middle, and your binder there. And so, uh, remember that time I talked after that with Augusto Reyes. But Augusto uh, Reyes has uh, his market in, in the United States, in Spain too, means that people still know about his style or that type of cigar he have or this other type of cigar he have. Mm -hmm. So if they have smoked few of them, they are expecting to smoke the same thing because they buy the same name. For me that was different because the cigar was new. And so I said to Augusto, I'd like to make a cigar, uh, well, like we call it, a puro. Oh, yeah. Puro means pure. Mm -hmm. And I said, that tobacco is so good. Tobacco Leonardo has in the curing bar. So, so unique that I, re I really love to make a cigar using the same tobacco for each component. That's unusual. That's unusual, yes. But again, if you like to go for what is pure, you don't have to make things to be complicated. If you have tobacco plant, which is the higher quality you have ever seen in your career, and this is the case of HVA series, try to make things simple. And try to know if you, if you would use that leaf as a wrapper, but if that leaf is giving you all criteria you want for a high caliber wrapper, you can use it maybe. Uh, finally, what's the, the, the Americans that, I'm not saying that HVA is made only for the US, but it seems that there is certain pressure due to embargo and 
that's psychological, but anyone would like to smoke a Cuban. Right. And I'm saying that by using HV, that's not the reason the cigar is made. Hmm? But that, that's interesting. Making a cigar with HVA is giving finally something very, very close to a Cuban. We are not trying to make a Cuban cigar. That's like Fuente would like to make a full body. He's not trying to make a Cuban cigar. That's a Dominican cigar. Sure. But they belong to the full flavor cigar we have right. in our country. Means the best, sure. So, yeah, it makes me want to smoke. <laughs> Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs>